Welcome to Code Grip. My name is Jorda Sigruder, and in this video, we'll be updating the legacy build pipeline to use Visual Studio 2017. Today, there are two build pipeline options the legacy pipeline that comes with the build VM you deploy through LCS, and the simplified pipeline that can run on the Azure DevOps hosted agent. The April 2021 release, which will be version 10.0.17 of Dynamics 365 FNO, will deprecate support for Visual Studio 2015. So the legacy pipeline needs to be updated to use the newer version of MS Build that came with Visual Studio 2017. The details and steps I'm following here come from the official documentation, which is linked in the description below. Let's dive right in. Okay, I have here the legacy pipeline. The steps are pretty simple. If you look at the two steps here, the two tasks are called MS Build. So build a solution and database sync, both use MS Build. So if you go to these, both of these, you'll notice there's an MS Build version listed, which is 14, and that would be Visual Studio 2015. So all you need to do is change these to use MS Build 15 which is Visual Studio 2017. And yes, it's not confusing at all. Um, same with the database sync. We change it from 14 to 15. There we go. And then finally, the execute tests need to change as well. Now here, if I scroll down, this actually lists the Visual Studio version. So it's a bit easier. So we changed this to Visual Studio 2017. There's one little thing that we need to change here. Um, and in fact, this is covered in the documentation. So in the documentation, it actually says you have to change the other console options property to have this, um, uh, this new parameter. And really what happened is between the versions, um, the test execution now requires, it passes in the path to the extension that we, that exists for X plus plus versus it automatically detecting it from the installed uh, extension. So that's what this really means. So all we have to do is just copy and paste this in here, paste. Um, and this will actually be set from the previous script. So there's nothing else you need to do. Now there's one thing um, that you do have to pay attention to that is not called out in the documentation, but I have seen with a couple of uh, pipelines that I had, and that's this in isolation flag. So the X++ unit tests need to run in isolation. However, there's also an option here called run tests in isolation. Now, you, if you have this checkbox checked, and you supply this uh, command line, MS build will actually, or the unit test framework will actually complain that you can't supply the parameter twice. It seems silly, but that's what it is. So essentially make sure that this checkbox is unchecked uh, and that you have the in isolation explicitly passed in. And that's really it. You just save your uh, pipeline and run it and you're up and going on Fish Studio 2017. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful and would like more content in the future, please hit the like button and subscribe for future videos.